Okay, so for those of you who don't have a center finder tool and do have a set of calipers, here's a way that you can mark a the center of your coin, and today we're going to work on uh, half dollars. One of the things I always do is after I've cut a center hole is I take my calipers and I find where the smallest point from the reeded edge to the center hole is. And then using my calipers, I mark that in this manner. <laughs> then what I do is I lock them in and I go around and I draw lines. And if there's anything off, what it'll show me white metal in the black circle that I created. So here's an example. It's a Canadian half and you can see that there's just a little bit of white showing. So what I'm going to do is file this out until it's even with the number of the smallest point from reeded edge to center. For a half dollar, a US half dollar, you can do this uh, prior to sawing your hole, punching your hole, or drilling your hole, however you decide to do it. And for sizes 9 to 11, I find the best size hole would be about 9.71 millimeters or 0.382 of an inch for the center hole. So here is basically what you can do. It's very similar to this. We're basically going to show or create our center hole doing the same technique, only we'd be using a coin without a hole. So I've got this pulled up at uh, 3.82 of an inch. And so what I would do is just take the half dollar and lock it right in to the calipers and start drawing my lines. <laughs> and there's a thunderstorm starting outside, so I'm <laughs> a little distracted. Just go around in a circle, like so. I'm sorry, this is probably boring. Boy, it's really starting to rock out there. Thunderstorms. It's one of my favorites, actually, is uh, the sound of thunder. We had a storm the other night, and um, there was a lot of lightning, but there was very little noise. It was really bizarre. But, you know, good old summer storms, which means I'll be able to work out in the shop. Hopefully it'll be a little cooler tomorrow if there's rain. So, all right, we've done that. We've marked our hole. <laughs> As you can see, hopefully it's in focus. Right there is where we'd want to cut. So we would then either take our... Uh, die punch, punch out that hole right there, cut it with our handsaw, and those of you who use a drill, drill it out. And then whatever's left that's white inside this center hole, file it out with your round file, or whatever it is that you're using to uh, adjust any off-centeredness. So, there you go. There's your tip for the day on making double-sided coin rings. Please visit my website. <laughs> And I have a link on my website that goes to my blog. And um, on my blog is where I share a lot of this stuff. I've kind of quieted down because I've had some issues with some copyright stuff. But um, it'll get back up and running soon. Thanks for watching.